And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Makes the score Seahawks 7, Buccaneers nothing. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. First carry now for Keyshawn Vaughn. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. On second down, it's Vaughn. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. He was tackled at the 27-yard line. A gain of a yard brings up third and inches. Brady going to try and throw on third down. He's got his running back, LaShawn McCoy. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And down to the 27-yard line. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. That is caught inside the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Scotty Miller, 27 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. At seven. Extra point up and good by Suckup. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Block at the return. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Yeah, not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. The 29-yard line. On third down, Wilson. And he's got Lockett. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. For a Seahawks. First and 10 at the 48. Penny, the first down carry. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. From the 44, Wilson flush to his right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Whenever you see a quarterback break contain, just think to yourself, the receivers on that side of the field, their number one job, make sure they get in his sight line so he can try and find someone downfield. Guys on the backside, make sure you don't give up the deep ball. They tried it there. They weren't able to connect. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 20-yard line. That one good for 24 yards. First and 10. Wilson from the gun. He'll throw. I know this may be. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. Tyler Lockett there to make the grab. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. 
14. Buccaneers, 7. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Taking it about the 1. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The return. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch, counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. We'll I see, love we'll it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. And he's finally taken down, and it's a big game there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Brady. Escaping the pressure right. His throw incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. So many screen passes are the result of excellent acting by everyone. But sometimes the guy who's getting the ball tips the play off. <laughs> the running back, because he's, he's eager to get the pass. And sometimes he doesn't act very well about whether he's going to block or leak out or whatever. And I think that they saw that, and that's why they were able to get to him on it. Throwing is Brady on third down. He'll find Vaughn complete out of the backfield. And they're able to get this one past the 30, down to the 25. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Buccaneers. On first down, Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's McCoy. It's a gain of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. At the 18-yard line. Brady to throw again. And oh, look at that, a diving catch. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now Brady again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Brady. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Well, that last completion certainly not what they were hoping for as now they'll try to convert on third. Brady. 
just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds, and now fourth down. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. That's caught at the 25. Is that it? And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks get the quick strike touchdown. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers. That meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the